Hola, buenos días a todos. Bien, estamos por iniciar esta conferencia a cargo del doctor Ricardo Tonini. Eh, antes de empezar, tengo encargado el encargo del de, eh, equipo de Di Perfect Endo de transmitirles unas palabras iniciales. Eh, lo voy a hacer primero en inglés para la comunidad internacional que esté reunida aquí con nosotros y luego en castellano. Y e inmediatamente después eh, le, le daré el pase al doctor Ricardo. Eh, before starting this course, eh, please allow us eh, to thank Style Italiano Endodontics, the professor Ricardo Tonini. Thank you, OML Company, the Peruvian agent for your effective cooperation. Thank you, Miguel Bravo, for your hard work. Thank you, Shenzhen Perfect Team, for all hard work. And thanks, Director Oscar, Regional Manager Jenny and Lisa, and also uh, warm welcome in the dentists and dentists from all over the world to this webin webinar. Thank you again. Antes de comenzar este curso, por favor, permítanos agradecer a esta el Italiano Endodontics, al profesor Ricardo Tonini. Agradecemos a la empresa OML, el agente peruano, para hacer efectiva esta cooperación. Gracias, señor Miguel Bravo, por su intenso trabajo. Gracias al equipo de The Perfect Shenzhen por todo el buen trabajo. Gracias a su director, Oscar. A las gerentes regionales, Jenny y Lisa, finalmente les damos una calurosa bienvenida a los endodoncistas y dentistas de todo el mundo a este webinario organizado desde Perú. Gracias nuevamente. Muy bien. Eh, dicho eso, eh, tengo el enorme placer de darle la bienvenida al eh, doctor Ricardo Tonini, que nos va a complacer hoy día con esta conferencia. Doctor Ricardo, the screen is yours. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Carlos, my colleague in endodontics. Uh, welcome, Peru, guys. Welcome to everyone. I know that uh, we have uh, on stage uh, more than uh, 700 people. Uh, so it's a big pleasure for me to be here. And uh, it's a big pleasure for me to attend uh, this amazing event. And uh, Carlos, you will trans will uh, do the translation. Oh, so... excuse me. Uh... <laughs> He's sleeping. Uh... <laughs> It's very much. I was very concentrated and listening. Bien, uh, doctor, please start again. I will yeah, sure. write this time. Don't worry. Uh, only, it's only a warm up. So it's a big pleasure for me to es be here. Es un placer para mí estar aquí. I know aquí. that uh, we have uh, more than 700 people 700 that are attending this que webinar. Están atendiendo so first hoy of día. all, for me, Primero it's a big honor to be here with you. With you. Estar aquí con ustedes. Espero pronto poder viajar a su, Perú, a su país, Perú, un país que me encanta, que quisiera visitar, que es muy fascinante. If we are here, we have all, first of all to thank si estamos aquí, uh, primero uh, debemos agradecer al organizador de este evento, OML, el importador, de Perfectendo, Perfectendo and the big a Perfectendo en sí y a la familia de Perfectendo. Uh, what I noticed in, during the last month of this cooperation is that Perfectendo is trying to establish a family of uh, dealers. And uh, so we have to really estado... welcome uh, oh. to some new dealers, and it's a big pleasure for me to share oh. these infos. We have Do from Russia Dr. and Profice uh, with uh, Mr. Dr. Alex Dr. Day, and uh, from uh, South Africa, we have uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Celeste, You're, 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 Dr. Tony, excuse me, you're going a little fast for, for the introduction of, of the people. I can catch the names, the names. So, a little bit yes, slower, please. We have uh, from uh, uh, Dr. Tony, Russia, está Europe, introduciendo like. a los dealers de todo el mundo. Los está, les está dando la bienvenida también. Eh, desde Sudáfrica, so we start in Sudáfrica. South Africa, we have uh, Wright Milners, uh, is uh, the company name, and okay. uh, uh, Mrs. Celeste, and uh, thank you to be here also with us. And after we have uh, from Iranian, we have a de, company that is uh, uh, Rowindo. Una compañía iraní. 
exactly. Deiran. And uh, Mr. Amir, and uh, from Tunisia, the last the, one, the EMS, EMS, Intermedical Service, and uh, Mr. Balashen from, uh, it's difficult to pronounce, but trust me. <laughs> and so we have to thanks also the last addition of this big family. As okay. I told you before, uh, Perfectendo is trying to. Uh, Como les dije antes, Perfectendo está intentando. Is trying to to develop a new desarrollar fire. nuevas limas todos los días. Their intent is also an educational intent. The reason why. Pero también está haciendo esfuerzos educativos, como el que you. tenemos, como el que yeah, tenemos okay. ahora. And it's a big pleasure, and uh, my my lecture tonight will be of course about uh, shaping uh, la, la conferencia de ahora va a ser sobre conformación exactly this is my office where i am and este es el consultorio uh, del doctor like here. this is my friend my Estén best friend ahí en ese momento su mejor in, amigo lo está presentando el microscopio you carlos you have in your back too so as you can see uh, in endodontics microscopes is como pueden ver en endodoncia los mandatory. microscopios son muy importantes no and uh, is um, is important for reaching success because success in endodontics es is something para el éxito porque en endodoncia that uh, comes uh, uh, day by day and uh, it el comes éxito se hace día from, a, día. Uh, a good diagnosis a good empieza en un buen diagnóstico una buena conformación una buena limpieza and of course a good obturation of the y por supuesto una buena obturación I'm sure that, and I want to see that after this webinar, you will be able, thank, thanks to the webinar, to shape in this way, respect the anatomy, feel the shape in this way, respect the anatomy, and reach the success. Y la anatomía para alcanzar el éxito. A typical example of uh, what I mean is uh, exactly this tooth. When we have to retreat a symptomatic tooth, we want Un ejemplo to típico es, por ejemplo, este diente que cuando queremos retratar. We feel it detrimentally. We have to follow up the root canal, the system, and the root canal system that we shaped. Que después de conformar the debemos se seguir la anatomía del sistema de conductos. We cannot disappear or we cannot say goodbye to our patients we have only to follow them no and podemos despedirnos del paciente después de eso debemos hacer de seguimiento y chequearlos cada cierto tiempo it means to be an endodontist because an endodontist is not only one Esto significa that ser is un able endodontista. to shape in a proper way but is also one who is able to uh, follow respect the anatomy and be successful over the years. Ser un endodoncista significa conformar la anatomía, hacer, respetarla y hacer el seguimiento a través de los años. We can restore at the end in a proper way with the crown or También maybe we can restaurar al final de una forma apropiada. The inlays and the onlays. So it means that the endodontist job nowadays is more than only cleaning, shaping and filling. We have also to do Actualmente, el papel del endodoncista no solo es hacer el trabajo endodontico, sino también una restauración apropiada. And together, we will understand how to manage and shape in a predictable way carpature. Juntos, juntos how aprenderemos to cómo reset the anatomy in a proper way and of course, reconformar la anatomía de una forma apropiada. my clinical cases, also, y verán en todos los casos clínicos so también la restauración final. Been, since the beginning has been designed for the, the specific tool. And so this is our daily job. We have, uh, of course, step by step in endodontics. We este need, es we trabajo we diario, have paso a paso en endodoncia, anestesia. We, we have to do a proper access cavity. Un acceso apropiado. Our a patient with rubber Debemos dam. Tener aislado nuestro paciente con una Without rubber dam, please don't do endo. We Sin will eso, por we have to shape, shape, fee, clean, Debemos fee, conformar, restore. limpiar, obturar y restaurar. This is the endo job, the endodontist job. And thanks to this job, we can reach the success. Este es el trabajo del endodoncista y gracias a esto podemos alcanzar el éxito. 
today our topic is shipping. As you can see, there are so many files on the market. Hoy nuestro tópico es solo shipping con formación. Hay muchas líneas en el mercado. And we have only to find the proper shipping system, so the proper Pero device, nosotros debemos encontrar that can, la lima apropiada that can be perfect for us que for sea perfecta para nosotros. managing an in, uh, in ideal uh, tool, so for managing the anatomy, and we need la exactly a systematic that can be predictable, and we can use de systematic predictable. De, de the reason why, of course, today you will see many kits, many files coming from Perfectendo. That is a company that, in my opinion, has a great quality and día, a great uh, uh, quality in terms of manufacturing process. Hoy día pueden ver una gran variedad de sistemas por parte de Perfectendo, que en mi opinión es una compañía que está alcanzando un gran nivel de manufactura. And uh, uh, in any case, at the end of this webinar, I can only caso, suggest este to you what is my puedo choice, but after cuál es mi opción, pero después, you have to test your selection, your final sequence, selección. and this sequence must be used by you day by day. Día a día. As an operator, remember, when we usually shape a root canal system. Operador, this is not the truth. The more we shape, the more we are not. Esto no es la verdad. Mientras más conformamos, más eficientes somos. No es así. Only that if we shape, if we use so many rotary files, so sequences made by uh, seven, eight, ten files, the risk is only to do a damage. La verdad es que mientras más grande es el sistema que utilicemos, más grande es la probabilidad de eh, cometer algún error, de sobrepreparar o estructurar una lima. The reason why nowadays we can find many of el, these selections of files, and of course, uh, some selections are great from uh, all the companies, but some selections are really well designed, has Actualmente podemos encontrar muchas selecciones, algunas son buenas, algunas están muy bien fabricadas. So, what we can do in any case, even if we select the best rotary file, is only we will be able hacer, only to touch si the 35% of the anatomy. La mejor, la mejor selección de limas, solamente vamos a poder tocar el 35%. So we have not to uh, forget that we have to clean, we have to activate our irrigation system. And we have to uh, trust, of course, in our rotary files, but endo is not only shipping. The shipping system, we, the reason why we ship no es is also because sino we que want la razón por la cual conformamos es para introducir more, uh, irrigants, uh, más irrigantes, irrigants inside our irrigantes eficientes dentro del sistema de conductos. So when we you have to choose uh, a systematic, we have to remember Cuando the reason why debemos elegir un sistema, la razón por la cual conformamos. The first point is okay. Let's try to remove vital and necrotic tissue El from the punto medial es, system. Por so, ejemplo, primero remover el tejido necrótico del sistema de conductos. So our intent is enlarge and try Entonces nuestra intención es ampliar para introducir más irrigante o medicación. We have also to preserve, we have to remember that we have to preserve the integrity and the debemos recordar que debemos preservar means, la integridad y localización de la anatomía apical. It means that also here, if we have to, to work with the selection, the selection must be really smart. If not, if we use all the files, at the end, we will find the tooth that is completely destroyed. Eh, la selección que de nosotros hagamos de Lima debe ser una selección inteligente, porque si no vamos a encontrar al final que vamos a haber destruido la anatomía. We have to avoid a iatrogenic error 
Debemos so evitar errores de hidrogénicos para preservar la estructura radicular. The canal filling. So also here. The idea of not shipping, so minimal invasive shipping must be a choice la minimal operación. invasive shipping for a good 3D filling and for a good... Entonces, la idea de conformación mínimamente invasiva debe estar basada en la posibilidad de irrigar y obturar adecuadamente. Si no... If not, has no sense to shape less and not be able to clean, disinfect and 3D fill our root canal system. Si no, so, no tiene sentido yeah, que nosotros preparemos mínima, de manera mínima invasiva si no podemos irrigar y obturar nuestro sistema de conductos. So this is the intent and as you can see the preservation of the anatomy and the original curvatures and the root dentin is also in our goal. Entonces la preservación de las estructuras de nuestra estructura dentinaria también es parte de nuestros objetivos. Is not necessary over shape. Is not necessary over enlarge and so apex in order to and thinking of that maybe we are also disinfecting it. Pensando we have to si enlarge as, as, as minimal as a practical. So Debemos practical that can be lo que sea painted, can be cleaned, and every time is a bonus. So we have not to destroy an anatomy, also like in this case in the visual and your lateral canals will be filled in any case and will be 3D dimensionally uh, disinfected. Con una irrigación apropiada será, será limpiada y obturada la anatomía secundaria y lateral. But the problem is not when we have to select and purchase our uh, rotary files. Okay, from uh, one point to the other, Uh, every one of us is able to, to go to reach from the coronal, so from the orifice to the apex. But the most important thing is the way in we, in, uh, that we have to follow and if we will have in front of us a curvature. Lo más importante que debemos hacer es seguir el camino que ya está determinado por el conducto ¿no? y las reacciones que nosotros tengamos ante una curvatura. If we have a straight canal, of course, every file can reach it. If instead we have a curvature, not all the files are able to si, manage. Si, si tenemos un conducto recto, cualquier lima lo podrá hacer, pero si tenemos una curva, no. But the most important thing is that if we have a curvature, we have to identify since the beginning the location of the curvature in order lo, to avoid iatrogenic errors. Lo más importante es que debemos localizar el inicio de la curvatura para evitar errores iatrogénicos. ¿A qué nivel está ese, esa curva? Like in this case, on the, the first image that you can see on, uh, uh, on your left, is a molar with a coronal curvature. If we introduce here a common Nickel titanium files with a not heat treated alloy, the risk will be only to do an overshipping in the coronal part and only make the, the curvature too much straight. In this case, for example, if we use the limas of nickel titanium, we could rectify and deform the zone of the curvature that is presented in the A different in the story. Instead, is represented when we have a curvature in the middle and apical region. In this way, there we can use also files that maybe are not so heat treated and files that can follow towards the anatomy without any problem because the curvature is in the in the apical region. Excuse me, the last part I didn't get it. Excuse me. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. Now I can hear you. Okay. But the, the thing is, instead, if we have a curvature in the middle or apical region, for our files, si even if not treated, apical, they will be able to reach the anatomy, so the apical region, follow Ellos the anatomy, in the proper deberán. way. And of course, here will be more important also to not Uh, push too much. If not, we will make the root canal system straight. Además de que las limas deben ser capaces de seguir la anatomía, 
cuando nosotros lleguemos a esa parte, no debemos empujar demasiado para no rectificar esa parte del conducto. And so, the location of the curvature is really important to understand since the beginning. Entonces, es importante entender dónde está el inicio de la curvatura. We have to be really, um, uh, you have to make more, to, to employ more attention and so to spend more time because the risk is to break a file immediately. Or si la curvatura es muy coronal, we can try to select a specific file that maybe has no memory shape and maybe thanks to no the heat treatment can follow the anatomy without, no the problem, de without forma, any difficulties. Para que se puedan adaptar, eh, sin dificultades. And so if we select the proper file, we will be able to shape all in a proper way and we will be able to preserve and maintain the anatomy where is needed. Si nosotros seleccionamos la lima apropiada, entonces vamos a poder preservar más fácilmente la anatomía donde sea necesario. I mean, if I use a file that can be able to be bent in this way, this is a T-Pro file from Perfect Endo. Quiero decir this que si elegimos una lima, to como esa que se puede... In a proper way, but we have to remember one thing, that the, the shaping ability will be probably less because it's heat treated. And we will discuss together what the heat treatment can do and which Entonces, si selection we have to do. Si seleccionamos una lima como esa con tratamiento térmico que se puede deformar de la manera apropiada para seguir el sistema de conductos, vamos a deformar menos, respetar más, pero también vamos a poder conformar menos eficientemente debido a ese mismo tratamiento térmico. What I want at the end of this webinar is that I want to see you really convinced that maybe there is uh, not a single file or a single uh, sequence that you have to use in order to reach and do this kind of shipping. But of Lo course, there are many and you have to select one or two of them, but you have to know exactly the properties. If you don't know the properties of the file, it will be a really critical situation. Lo que quisiera transmitirles al final de este webinario es que van a necesitar más de un sistema para realizar las distintas conformaciones de conducto, pero lo que tienen que aprender es a, eh, a saber de, de en qué consisten esas limas para que puedan hacer la selección de manera apropiada. If we decide to use in our daily practice is a systematic that has been really heat treated, so is a long time. Si decidimos escoger para nuestra práctica diaria un sistema que esté en el tratamiento térmico, the, uh, durability. We can increase podemos aumentar la durabilidad, the file, la, la so resistencia de la lima. But we have to remember one thing. Try to imagine, and it's better to make it clear immediately, try to imagine that we have austenite part of the files that are really stiff. Pero debemos recordar que tenemos una parte austenítica que es rígida y una parte martensítica que es blanda. Cuando hacemos tratamiento térmico, cambiamos la capacidad de la lima de recurvarse de austenita a martensita. Y we talking about the two opposite parts. If we use austenite files, si they will austen, cut more, limas they will be stiffer, será más and rígidas. the uh, resistance, of course, in terms of uh, uh, cyclic fatigue, will be less. Y la resistencia, por supuesto, en términos de fatiga cíclica, será menor. Instead, if we have from the other side, Mambartensite files, that are También el lado opuesto, las líneas martensíticas con tratamiento térmico serán más resistentes. Pero tienen menos eficiencia de corte. Because they are soft and those blades porque son blandas. Porque son flexibles. Si trabajamos con líneas soft, el riesgo es solo de empujar mucho. They are not able to cut, and we can 
break them, but it's not. Si the nosotros reason, trabajamos con lima muy flexible, si nosotros trabajamos con lima muy flexibles, tenemos el riesgo de empujar demasiado ¿no? y de esa forma ocasionar un accidente. Pero el riesgo no es la lima, es el operador. The good choice that came from Perfectendo was to make heat treatments la elección on the side, so sabia pro, example, de Perfectendo. They have no memory shape, so they are bendable. Or instead, another uh, file system is MG3 or MG2. They este are instead not so heat treated. So, sistemas que tienen mucho tratamiento térmico y otras que no tienen tanto tratamiento térmico. So the, the ideal system maybe is for some clinical cases, heat treatment, but not too much. It means that after that I pre-band an MG3, I release it, it comes straight again. Entonces, para algunos casos eh, va a ser más adecuado tener tratamiento térmico, pero no demasiado, como en este caso de salida de MG3. So, the heat treatment can uh, make this uh, instrument uh, more resistant, but with more cutting efficacy. Para If tener más resistencia, pero más eficiencia de corte. If we work with T-Pro, an example, we have a file that has been really uh, treated for more time, for more uh, cycles, por ejemplo, otra and línea they preserve de, the analysis, perfect. but we know that this file will cut less. Preservaremos mejor la anatomía porque tiene mucho tratamiento térmico, pero cortará menos. The heat treatment made in both cases is able to not transport the anatomy. This is the reason why we have to trust in its treatments. En ambos casos, el tratamiento térmico tiene la capacidad de no deformar la anatomía. Because this coronal curvature is not easy to approach. This coronal curvature in the measure root is really dangerous because if we shape ejemplo, coronal, it with the conventional files, we can only make it straight. Porque si lo hacemos con limas convencionales, la vamos a hacer recta. Even if we work with 0.2, in terms of uh, taper. Inclusive si trabajamos con taper 0204. Also here, there are three kinds of curvature. One that is uh, more coronal in the measure root, one in the palatal that is apical, and one in the middle that is in the distal root. Also here, y tenemos en este caso, por ejemplo, tres curvaturas, una en coronal, una en el tercio medio y una en apical. ¿No? Entonces necesitamos, necesitaríamos tres diferentes tipos de tratamiento térmico. As you can see, the treatments can preserve more the anatomy in the apical region too, even if we have a double curvature. Como pueden ver, los tratamientos térmicos ayudan a preservar la anatomía, inclusive en casos como estos de doble curvatura. But we have to remember that any pile can Pero be broken and can break. Romper. If we push too much, We apply too much flexor fatigue and we, sí, our team mucho, can block mucha, and go in a functional fracture. So if, when we use any kind of files, even we, if we we'll select the best sequence, we have to be careful and we have to work in a proper way. So we need a technique. Entonces, inclusive con el technique, mejor sistema, debemos ser cuidadosos y trabajar en la manera apropiada. For any kind of anatomies. And today we will shift together some of these tips in order to avoid the failure, so the breakage of the file that can represent a real failure time. Trabajar de manera apropiada para evitar este tipo de accidentes, ¿no? la fractura. So we have to be we, have, we need the technique. And if we use a, a main technique, inside this technique, we will be able to use all the kits that we will select all the sequences that we will select from Perfect Endo. Para so we need... una técnica. Yeah, the technique is crown down technique. La técnica the... es crown, la de crown down. The crown down technique, it means enlarge more coronally and only at the end dedicate the shipping time to the apical region. Lo que significa trabajar más coronalmente, ampliar coronalmente para luego llegar a la parte apical. Of course, this sequence can give us a better working length measurement, can give us no internal transport, anatomy preservation, centered shipping, 
less debris that can be pushed in the Africa region, we can have more space for irrigants and a better apical cleaning in the apical region and less debris extrusion, so less flare up. Con esta técnica nosotros podremos tener less apical blockage. Una mejor medición de la longitud de trabajo, no transportar la zona interna, preservar la anatomía, una conformación centrada, menos barro, este, más espacio para el irrigante, mejor limpieza apical, menos obstrucción de debris y menos bloqueo apical. So if we will be able to follow the crown down technique, we'll be able to shape all the root canal system with heat treated files in a proper way. Si podemos manejar esta técnica, podremos manejar todas las anatomías con climas de tratamiento térmico de una manera apropiada. And we have to try, since the beginning, we have to try to use rotary files instead of manual files. Because remember that a 15 key files sometimes can be really too much stiff and dangerous and can create some ledges. So As... since the beginning, we need rotary files. Las limas de acero son capaces de crear escalones desde el principio. Entonces, desde el principio necesitamos limas rotatorias con tratamiento térmico. Remember the glide path, so it means this, the beginning shaping of the hour canal system is exactly what we have to reach since the beginning. And after that, we reach it the glide path, that is the most important part of our shifting soft process, we have only to decide which taper give to give to our root canal system. But the glide path is the answer, and the glide path is the secret. Una vez que hayamos conseguido el glide path, recién nosotros podremos determinar qué calibre y qué taper le vamos a dar a nuestro sistema de conductos. El glide path es la clave. And inside our kits, inside our selections, we will have something for pre-flaring, so designed for pre-shipping on the coronal part, and something exactly designed for establishing since the beginning the glide path. En el sistema de MG3 tendremos una lima específica para hacer el orifice shaping, la, la, el, el el desgaste en la parte superior a nivel del orificio y unas limas para hacer desde el principio el glide path. When we have an example, uh, the small one file, so a small file like on the, on the left, this file has been designed for enlarging the coronal part. Cuando Since tenemos una lima so así corta como la del lado izquierdo, es para... Eh, ampliar la parte coronal y esto es el inicio de la técnica eh, crown down. Instead, the other files, so the typical shape, are designed for enlarging a bit and in a sequence all the canal for all the length of the canal in the canal itself. En cambio, las otras son para eh, trabajar el resto del conducto haciendo una pequeña ampliación. In this way, also curvatures that are really difficult after that can be shaped in a proper way with the sequence that we will choose later. De esta forma, eh, inclusive sistemas con curvaturas es muy difíciles pueden ser eh, trabajadas en una secuencia de manera apropiada. And the story is not finished yet because uh, when, uh, okay, we discussed about the heat treatment that can make our uh, uh, files uh, uh, with a longer life. But of course, when we choose a sequence, we have to see exactly the cross section of the sequence and if they have a specific anatomy because from the cross section, we will be able to understand if our files will cut or not, or maybe we have a file that uh, uh, has been heat treated, so completely from this side, so Martin's side, but due to its uh, uh, cross section, it will be able to cut a lot. Bueno, la historia no se ha acabado ahí porque además debemos analizar y poder entender cuál es la función de la sección transversal de nuestras limas para 
saber si estas van a ser capaces de cortar o no a continuación en la siguiente fase. So basically we have many choices nowadays. We can choose uh, many kind of uh, uh, cross sections. And ya tenemos muchas opciones de secciones transversales. Introducing it there our files inside the root canal system, please take a look to Antes de introducirlas en el sistema de conducto, por favor, observen sus acciones. Or not. Of course. Para entender si cortarán o no. When we have an S shape Of course, we know that two blades will cut a lot. So a lot. Cuando the, tenemos una forma en S, sabemos que eso cortará mucho. Instead, when we have a triangle, uh, en cambio, like, cuando tenemos un triángulo, our files will cut, but there will not be a screwing effect. No, eh, nuestras líneas cortará, pero no tendrá un efecto de atornillamiento. If instead we have a square cross section. We know si tenemos that un cuadrado, we cut a bit, not so much. Sabemos que cortará un poco, no mucho, pero con un efecto de atornillamiento cero dentro del conducto. If we follow the rules, if we follow step by step the sequences, we will be able to do that without destroying our tail. Si podemos el seguir una secuencia paso a paso, podremos conseguir resultados como ese sin destruir la anatomía. And for this reason, we have to analyze really well the sequence that we have to use coming from NGMG3, that is a, a last release from Perfect Tendo. They are files that are heat treated, but not so much heat treated. So from the main files that are the second one, the, the red, the green, and the yellow on the, uh, on the right, they are the shipping. From these files, we can have a really good cutting efficacy and a good flexibility, but no, they are not so much memory shape. Con estas limas de las MG3 de Perfecto, ordenadas de manera adecuada y secuencial, podremos obtener, como no tienen una, eh, mucho tratamiento térmico, una buena conformación eh, con una buena eficiencia de corte. So MG3, you will discover by yourself that is a sequence designed and intended for following the crown down technique that I introduced you before. MG3 is course, una lima diseñada para seguir la técnica crown down que ha presentado anteriormente el doctor. With this sequence, we have to understand mm. exactly all the crux sections and we have to understand exactly which file will, be, will have more cutting efficacy and instead which file will cut less. Con estas limas debemos entender las secciones transversales para poder entender cuáles cortarán más y cuáles cortarán menos. And also we have to understand if we will be able to give a taper of 0.4 or 0.6 at the end. También entender eh, qué taper daremos al final, un taper de 0.4 o 0.6. As you can see P1 and P2 are intended as a files for glide path and not for pre-flaring. And, and they have a cross section that is square. So they are heat treated, square cross section. So when we use them, we have to be really gentle. We have not to push too much because the risk is maybe that the cutting efficacy is not really high and we push a lot and we create a damage. No. P1 y P2 son limas para glide pad eh, con, la, con tratamiento térmico y de sección transversal cuadrada. Entonces son limas con las que no debemos empujar demasiado eh, porque la eficiencia de corte no es tan alta. Exactly. And what at the end also G1 and G2 they have a different cross section and they cut more. They are flexible. They have 0.4 in a taper for the yellow one, so 20.04. And in this sequence, MG3, we have a 25.06 as a, as a choice. En cambio, G1 y G2 cortarán más. Cada una tiene un taper 0.4 y 0.6 con una alta eficiencia de corte. But which is the sequence? How can we use them in a proper way? Remember, we have a pre-flaring, the glide path, 
that is established at the working length. And at the end, we have to decide the shaping. So until which file we have to shape. Basically, we can start with the pre-flaring file, the shorter one. We can not at working length at all because it's not able to reach the working length, but only for few millimeters, please. Don't push, don't push this file because it's a bit stiff and you can create and escalones as a car. Entonces, ¿cuál es la secuencia? Nosotros debemos empezar con la lima de preflaring, la primera, la más corta. Esta lima no está, no vayan a intentar hacerla llegar a la longitud de trabajo, es solamente para la porción inicial, es una lima rígida con la finalidad de conformar el tercio coronal. After in, without reaching the working length, we can introduce P1 and in case P2 at not the working length, but until we were able to introduce the key files. In luego, this way, we will follow the cram down technique sequence. Luego introducimos P1 y P2, pero no hasta la longitud de trabajo, sino hasta en las partes superiores del conducto. After that we did it, we can introduce the key file at the working length. We can do the glide path with the P1 and P2 in sequence. Luego yes, utilizamos la lima maestra para llegar a la longitud de trabajo. Estamos hablando de la 10. So less manual file, only where is needed, not bigger key files because they are dangerous for legacies. And after that, we can decide the shaping. The, of course, we have to shape at least at 20.04. And this is a good shaping in terms of uh, apical shape and taper. Luego pasamos las limas de glide pad, la P1 y P2, y no muchas limas manuales adicionales para evitar los riesgos que ellas conllevan. Eh, y a continuación utilizamos la primera lima de conformación, la 2004, que es un buen calibre para una conformación apical inicial. After we can decide if go move forward with uh, an enlargement of the taper, so we can go with uh, a 06 and we will not use a 2006 but because our sequence is something that uh, we we don't want to purchase mini files as i told you before with the risk of break one of them inside the retina system we will go for a 2506 if it's needed in order to enlarge the taper too in the one time we enlarge the apical size a bit and Taper Luego pasamos directamente a la lima 2506 porque no queremos tener muchas limas, porque como ya hemos conversado antes, a más limas, más posibilidades de error. Y esta lima es un 2506. If instead, and this is the reason why we have to select again a kit, we want to shape more the apical diameter without increasing a lot the taper, we can use a 3504. Luego, eh, o podemos elegir pasar la 3504, el doctor lo que está diciendo es que podemos elegir la una o la otra, si decidimos hacer una ampliación coronal mayor la 2506, pero si no deseamos desgastar tanto, podemos utilizar la 3504 para solamente una preparación apical sin desgaste coronal. This is MG3 concept, so MG3 sequence, and it's exactly a sequence designed for many uh, root canal systems. And of course, it's a sequence that we can use in order to preserve and maintain the anatomy because we are enlarging the anatomy, 04, small diameter and step by step. Entonces, ustedes pueden elegir la secuencia eh, así, de manera secuencial, o elegir cómo preparar el conducto. Exactly. And if instead from perfect endo also there is another sequence mg2 mg2 has inside also 2504 if we want to keep and maintain the 04 sequence so ahora uh, eh, perfectendo también eh, perfectendo también tiene una secuencia mg2 donde se incluye una 2504 por si quisieras mantener en todo momento una secuencia de conicia 04 Recently also, Perfectendo introduced a nice file for maybe reducing 
the file that we are needed for doing a preferring and glide path. Recientemente también Perfecendo introdujo estas excelentes limas para hacer preflaring y glide path. PX1 is a file that has a, a taper, a tip of 15, PX wave, sorry, and a taper that is 0, 2. But as okay. you can see, it's a bit conical. Estamos hablando de PX wave, sí, eh, que es una lima de calibre 1502, pero es bien cónica. In this way, we will be able to do glide path and also pre-flaring, a bit pre-flaring in the coronal path. De esta forma podemos hacer yes, glide path exactly. y al mismo tiempo un pequeño pre-flaring en la parte coronal. After that we reach the working length, we will be able to shape with P1 and uh, sorry, uh, for with uh, uh, MG3 sequence, so 2004 and 2506 or 3504. Luego podemos eh, continuar con la secuencia que ya hemos visto, la 2004 y el G1, y continuar. G1, G2, G3. Exacto. So, as endodontist, we, we need more files in our uh, office. And in our office, we can do step by step, we can follow the sequence. But let's see some video. This is, it was my first. Um, uh, opening of the, uh, the box. Este so after that primer, I opened the box. Fue la primera vez que abrí una casa de MC3. It's interesting that inside you can find exactly what is needed. The description of the files. This is, it was a really smart thing coming from Perfectendo. So we have the cross es section, the taper, and we know that they are it treated. But the cross section is really important. Es interesante que encontró la descripción de la sección transversal de la lima, lo que él encuentra muy importante para decidir qué hacer con cada uno. This is a tool that we will shape later together, but I wanted to show you my first, first approach to this systematic. So it was my, it was a real love at the first use. Este fue su primer Corona, uso del sistema. Pre-flaring. With el ensanchamiento yes, coronal. Remember, only two millimeters, no more. If not, it's uh, too Solo much dos millimeters. Uh, dangerous introducing immediately a file with this anatomy in this kind of anatomy. Para evitar riesgos eh, en estas anatomías con tantas curvaturas. After we introduce our P1 and P2 in order to perform the glide path. Luego introducimos P1 y P2 para realizar el glide path. They are really flexible. They are son, fantastic. They can follow the curvature muy, muy flexible. at the end without making it straight. As you can see, this is a heat treatment of G1. It's not so heat treated. So we have cutting efficacy, flexibility, and two things that at the same time can really preserve and maintain our anatomy. Está haciendo hincapié en el tratamiento térmico de G1, que no está demasiado marcado, lo cual mantiene su eficiencia de corte, pero manteniendo, ayudando a mantener la anatomía de los conductos. In the inside resin, we have a lot of screwing effect. And of course, the section, the triangular section of the file can really uh, attract you inside the resin. Eh, lo que puede haber es un, uh, algún efecto de atornillamiento debido a su sección transversal tran triangular. And, and the same story is here. We have a real double curvature tooth with, uh, uh, it's a difficult tooth that I also have in front of me now. So it's a really double curvature tooth. Estamos it's viendo que es one. el trabajo dentro de un diente con doble curvatura que es peligroso. And this is the same story. We remove the coronal interferences with the shorter file. We introduce our files for uh, uh, glide path. So Repetimos one, la secuencia, tercio coronal, glide path, con P1, P2. And after, we can shape with 20 or 4, because a double curvature 
like in this case, a coronal curvature can't be shaped as a 2506. So we have to reduce the taper and use as maximum as possible the characteristic of the phi. Luego continuamos con la secuencia hasta llegar a un 2506, eh, aprovechando las características de las líneas. ¿no? So I will stop my shaping at 2004 G1. No more, no more. Aquí en este not, caso de doble curvatura está deteniéndose en 2004. So it's not necessary try to over enlarge a tooth or over enlarge an apical uh, region in order to uh, reach the success. Because after that we ship it as minimum as possible, we will be able to, in any case, to clean in a proper way the root canal system because we have to clean with our systematic that is represented by hyperchlorite. No es necesario eh, intentar sobreampliar el sistema de conductos con orden de, eh, con el objetivo de limpiar eh, con un 2004 en este punto el, está considerando que es suficiente para realizar la limpieza de este tipo de sistema de conductos. If we love too much to enlarge maybe the canal or the apical region, it's better. Si nos gusta if ampliar we... la región apical. It's better if we change the uh, diameter of the tip, means 35, instead of taper. Es mejor, so, eh, tal vez sea mejor utilizar el 3504 para ampliar la región apical, pero sin ampliar el taper. And let's go in vivo with this systematic. So it's difficult to because the canal are really small and uh, uh, they are... Uh, um, really sclerotic. This is so, un diente difícil en un paciente que está muy esclerótico. This is PX file because uh, it was a love at the first choice. So the file that is able to establish the glide path and the removal of interferences since the beginning. We can este use PX it. wave. Wave, yes, PX file, wave, PX wave. It's a soft. We have not to push a lot because at the moment I have not to push because I have only to remove the coronal interferences. No debemos empujar mucho en este punto porque solamente queremos remover las interferencias coronales. You can use also the shorter one as a first choice. So here I'm showing you not a sequence, but a choice. You can cho choose one of the two and you can see the two different actions. One is exactly for a dedicated coronal removal of interferences. The other one is for doing glide path and the removal of the coronal interferences at the same time. Para las interferencias coronales también podríamos utilizar la lima corta que viene en MG3, que es una elección, ¿no? Con una solamente para las interferencias y con la otra podemos hacer glide path y además eliminar las interferencias. After that we remove the interferences, we can go down with our files designed for glide path. If we chose the shorter, uh, the shorter file, we can continue with P1 and P2. If not, if we stayed on PX wave, we can use only PX wave. Why not? Si nosotros hemos elegido la lima corta, luego podríamos continuar con P1 y P2. Y si no, simplemente solo PX wave. It's up to you guys, it's up to you. This is a, a double option that we can give you. And I want to only show you the efficacy of these files. And remember, the speed should be around 300, 350 R RPM. Él quiere mostrar las opciones que son posibles con los distintos sistemas. Y hace hincapié en recordar que la velocidad va entre 300 y 350 revoluciones por minuto. This is the visual gauging. It means that when you see the debris on the tip, it means that you shaped the shape of the file, you shaped it, you printed the shape, and it means that you have not to measure the apical diameter anymore, but you have only to try your guta perca cone and finalize the root canal treatment. Está indicando que cuando se observa ese tipo de barro adherido a la dentina significa que se ha cortado y se ha ampliado el conducto, con lo cual eh, ya no hace necesario medir el calibre apical, sino simplemente probar el cono de gutapercha. 
here we are. A minimal shipping. Now I have only to clean, clean a lot for a long time. And after we can do the filling of the root canal system. Entonces, en ese caso, una conformación mínima y mucha, mucha limpieza para poder llegar a obturar el sistema de conductos. This is the finalized clinical case. So, the anatomy is preserved. The anatomy has been uh, shipped, not overlaged, but it was a minimal approach. Ese es el caso manejado de, y terminado con un enfoque mínimamente invasivo porque es lo que corresponde. This is another clinical case, a second one that I show you, a retreatment. Otro caso Why? clínico, un retratamiento. Here we cannot start with P1 and P2 for the retreatment. We have to start with the, the shorter one and after we will use a G2 because it's a 2506, so has a good power in shaping and removal of gutta perca. And we can start the crown down only for the removal of a gutta perca in the coronal region. En este caso no podemos empezar con P1 y P2, sino que tenemos que empezar con la lima corta para la ampliación coronal y luego la G2 porque tiene un gran poder de ampliación coronal. And after that I took the working length, also here is more important to remove all the debris and as you can see, it was not so necessary to use the P1 and P2 because the risk is that they are really thin and if we have gutta perca, they are not able to cut gutta perca and you can only break them. So, in, in three case, treatments, you can use MG3, but in a proper way. In this case, it was not necessary to use P1 and P2. In fact, there would be a risk of breaking them because they are very flexible and they would not advance in the system of conductors because we would push them a lot. And it was only dedicated to removing all the debris in the interior of the conductor using G2. G1 y G2. So MG3 sequence is a sequence that you can use for your daily practice for shipping, but also for a, a sound thief, but also for retreatments. And this is nice because basically, if you have a, fire, a systematic that can really uh, answer to your raw request, it means that this sequence is really nice. But during the retreatments, we have also MB2. At, at that time, you have to use P1 and P2 because this canal has never been touched. Entonces, tenemos un sistema que puede ser utilizado en tratamientos primarios y en tratamientos eh, de, y en retratamientos, lo cual es muy bueno, es muy interesante porque no todos los sistemas lo pueden hacer. Y como vemos aquí en este caso, había el MB2 que no había sido tratado y entonces entra la oportunidad de utilizar la P1 y la P2 porque es lo que corresponde para generar el glide path. And we, we follow the crown down, so removal of the coronal interferences, and after we shape the root canal system uh, of uh, MB2 and MB1. Y en ese conducto seguiremos en la conformación por crown down. And in a tooth like that, I did this case uh, last day. So take a look. This patient had a curvature here that is a really nice curvature. When I saw the pre-op X-ray, this tooth uh, uh, was a symptomatic, and uh, uh, this is an old X-ray. This tooth has been. Uh, um, uh, it, uh, it, it has a big decay here, so the re most recent uh, uh, X-ray has been more here. Symptomatic. But in any case, Pero luego when you the root canal system that here disappears, we have to ask to yourself, okay, where is the Observen end? Cómo desaparece el sistema de conductos. ¿Qué pasa of ahí? course, here there is a curvature. So here is a dangerous zone. If you go inside the with the P5, 10, 15, and so on, the only risk is to do a beautiful ledge. Entonces, si introducimos limas eh, rígidas de acero, lo único que tendremos es un riesgo de hacer un escalón. So also here, I'm enlarging the, and removing the coronal interferences because I have to, I need a straight access here and here because I know that is a difficult case. And Entonces you, empezamos removiendo las interferencias coronales porque es un caso difícil. We have to deal with a 90 degrees curvature. This is dangerous. 
vamos a lidiar con una curvatura de 90 grados, muy peligrosa. And muy peligrosa, yes. And after, only at the end, after that we did remove our current interferences, glide path until where we can do go down, not of the working length, we can take the working length and after we can follow the crown down technique and do the progressive shipping. So P1, P2, and G1. Luego de eliminar las interferencias y hacer un light path parcial, tomamos la longitud de trabajo y podemos continuar nuestra secuencia. G1, G, eh, G1, G2. You have that's, not that's right. G1, G2. G1, G2 are the shaper. Uh, G is uh, for shaper. P is uh, for pre-shapers or uh, glide path files. The only thing is, When you purchase a sequence like this, and you have a blister like this, you have not to go use all of them and go to a working lab with all of them. If not, you will do a big mistake. You have to follow the crown down technique. So for, first of all, coronal enlargement, and after you will use the sequence, but you have also to stop your sequence because here, if you shape with Uh, a 30, a 40, 08, you will break the file. Entonces, cuando tenemos un sistema como el que se presenta, no es necesario que sigamos toda la secuencia, sino que nosotros elijamos la secuencia, eh, porque si no podríamos cometer un error de utilizar una lima eh, de, de demasiado calibre y romperla o deformar. For the major route, I understood that uh, 20 G1, 2004, uh, was uh, not so much. And I was not ready to go with uh, the 2506 because I didn't want to enlarge too much the coronal part. So I chose the MG2 sequence with the, 20 G, the G file that is 2504. The G2 can be in 2506, that is inside the MG3 kit, or MG2504, that is inside the MG2 kit. In the case of the conductors messiales, he understood that the G1 was not sufficient, but he didn't want to expand the coronal part, so he used a lima 2004 of a MG2 system, also from Perfect, and then he combined them. Doctor, excuse me. In the distal uh, canal, uh, you were up to what file? G1 20, only? G1 only, 2004. Because the curvature was really huge. At working length? At the working length. I at was at the working length? Yes, at okay. the working length. This group taperca cones that you can see inside is 2004. Okay, in the, in the distal, in the conducto distal, él fue solamente hasta la G1-2004 eh, y esa es la obturación que estamos observando. But if you have a curvature like this, of course, maybe you can use more the files that are designed for glide path, more times, in order to enlarge a little bit the root canal system, but not too much. So P1 and P2 can be used more than one time. So more picking effect. In order en to enlarge and make the curvature smoother. In caso de querer realizar un poco de ampliación en esa zona de alta curvatura, se pueden pasar la P1 y la P2, las que son de glide pad, durante más tiempo, aunque no exagerar, para conseguir un calibre un poco mayor. But believe me, the, the apical curvature is not a big problem. It's a problem the coronal curvature. Pero crean que no es un gran state. problema la curvatura apical. Son más problemáticas las curvaturas coronales. Only to show you also what Perfect Endo can offer you, we have also RC Blue. So if we are interested in also reciprocating files, we have a choice also here because reciprocating files, they have some advantages, but some disadvantages. Advantages Solo are, para mostrarles lo que puede hacer perfectamente, aquí tenemos a recibir una lima reciprocante que tiene algunas ventajas o algunas desventajas. These kind of files are really heat treated. Tienen mucho tratamiento térmico. 
they you can bend them they are they can keep the shape it means that originally they are not so able to cut las puedes recurvar mucho pueden conservar bien la forma pero originalmente no son tan buenas para cortar how to solve this problem is it enough resolvemos este problema is enough to change the cross section and use a cross section with a huge power and a, a, a huge cutting efficacy. Cambiando the la sección transversal. Haciéndola en forma de S. So we have uh, a blue alloy and different diameters. In this case, is, uh, we can choose the 25 or uh, 0, 08 or Entonces, a, a 4006 or a 5005. Entonces tenemos eh, una lima azul eh, de sección transversal en S con tres diámetros distintos. 2508, 4006 y 5005. The 2508 is more than enough in many situations. 2508 es más que suficiente en muchas situaciones. Really good heat treatment. Ok. And... We, what is the sequence? We can use for the glide path also the file designed for reciprocation. So they have also a file for the glide path that with the reciprocation. Uh, para el glide path podemos utilizar la lima para glide path reciprocante PX wave. We can use before for pre-flaring. So instead of the short file, we can use since the beginning our uh, RC blue file. We don't the lima. coronal interferences. En vez de la lima corta para, para remover las interferencias, podemos utilizar directamente la misma lima, RC Blue. After we go with the, uh, the file designed for the glide path in reciprocation motion, we go for the walking length, and we establish the glide path, we shape with the first file until the working length, and only at the end, we decide if we move further with the 40 that is uh, is black is the smaller one and or yellow that is 50 but they luego are de haber, luego de haber obtenido la longitud de trabajo eh, continuamos con la secuencia utilizando para glide pad la lima PX wave y llegamos hasta la RC25 eh, y luego ahí recién decidimos si es que amerita continuar en la secuencia para la 40 o 50 This is an example. I this canal, uh, I already established the uh, a bit glide path. It was a retreatment. So basically, I, I removed the fiber post. I I found the working length. I understood. Okay, this canal is bit uh, is not so so small. So let me use my RS blue. Este But es un we cannot use for el, all the canals, of course. This es un retratamiento en el que tuvo que remover un poste de fibra de vidrio, luego llegó a longitud de trabajo y entendió que no era un conducto muy estrecho. Entonces, Remember, we have to use the uh, degrees that are 150 for cutting, 30 for uncutting. Cien, eh, recuerden que esta lima utiliza 150 eh, grados de rotación para cortar y 30 para no cortar para destrabarse. And of course, this file can be used considering that has a really aggressive cross section can be used also for retreatments. Por tener una sección transversal muy agresiva, puede ser utilizada para retratamientos. So we can uh, merge the two things and uh, they are of course my choice. So we saw many files That uh, from Perfect Endo, we have, as I, we mentioned before, we have also MG2. We Tenemos have muchas other, limas en Perfect Endo. Muchas, muchas limas. I remember when I received all their uh, boxes, I was a bit confused. But thanks to this PDF that you can find inside the box, finally you can understand what? Cross section, heat treatments. And so you can understand since the beginning, okay, This file will cut, it's for me, not for me. The size is a huge sequence uh, or not. Entonces, debido a la ventaja que tienen estas cartillas, a pesar de que tienen muchas limas, 
¿no? estas cartillas nos permiten entender eh, qué lima es para cada uno y qué es lo que se hace con cada una de estas limas. So many, many, one of the most famous is T-Pro, of course. Una de las más famosas es T-Pro. Cross-section uh, and so on, T-Flex. You can see, you have a huge, many options, many, many options. But my choice was, of course, MG3 sequence, I loved. Uh, I'm a RC Blue, okay, Dentro. I'm a user, but not so a big fan of reciprocation file. So mm -hmm. I use only when I have a single canon, bit, a big, large, not so small. And um, uh, Dentro also, de todas estas limas, sus opciones son MG3 en rotación, y aunque no es un gran fanático del movimiento reciprocante, RC Blue cuando el conducto no es tan estrecho. And the PX Wave is a nice file also for a glide path. Why not? PX Wave is a lima muy buena para glide path. And uh, um, uh, so we have a, a huge choice, but with MT3, of course, you can do your procedure that is treatment and retreatment in a safe way. Tenemos muchas opciones, pero con MG3 tienes una opción con la que puedes hacer tratamiento y retratamiento de una manera segura. Okay. If uh, there are a few questions, we can start in discussion. In the meantime, I can prepare also uh, my microscope. Entonces, si tienen algunas preguntas, las pueden ir dejando en el chat y, y procuraré transmitírselas al doctor. En el momento no veo ninguna. Everything is clear? Uh, yes, doctor. Uh, there is any question uh, yet. Okay. So let's talk about of uh, uh, this anatomy. This is an upper first molar. This is a major buccal uh, root. In a major buccal root. Yeah, yeah. El diente que va a tratar es una primera molar superior. Major buccal root uh, is, uh, we know, it's a bit dangerous because the risk is uh, that maybe uh, we can uh, have a uh, uh, lot of interferences, we can uh, have uh, MB1, MB2, and so on. La raíz masiva vestibular es una raíz peligrosa, nosotros sabemos, porque tiene, puede tener muchas interferencias, además de dos conductos, MB1 y MB2. So, if this is our tooth, here we have MB1 and the MB2. Tenemos nuestro diente con los conductos MB1 y MB2. We don't know if they are uh, linked together or not. No sabemos si se encuentran o no. Si son What we have to do is remove, first of all, all the interferences in all the canals, but don't go deeper with the first pile. Lo primero que hacemos es remover las interferencias hacia el conducto pero no profundice. Don't show, don't go deeper, okay? But be careful. Sean cuidadosos. After, after we can, of course, we can introduce. Luego introducimos. Signify only for understanding. Okay, where I am? I can la, go deeper la, or not? La lima de sondaje. No, solamente... I, can, I can't move deeper. So what I have to do? Para saber push. si puede ir más adentro o no. Push or not? No, you have not to push because the only thing that you can do if you push, no debe, do a beautiful ledge. Uno no debe forzar, porque lo único que conseguirás es hacer un escalón. So we can introduce our P1 file. As you can see, this is P1. La lima P1. Of MG3. That is a de MG3. But not so much. So it's lleva flexible. tratamiento térmico, pero no tanto. Entonces es flexible. But memory, no memory, uh, the shape come back at the same, at the memory, initial memory. Pero tiene algo de memoria de forma. So I introduce my file. Until I, I introduce it at the same working length. That I reached with the key file, no more, of course. La introduzco hasta la misma longitud que pude llegar con mi lima de sondaje, no más. No más. Here MB2, 
no más da en Kifal. Entonces, ahí ahora pasó al MB2, no más allá de la línea de sondas. Now I can try to connect to my Apex Logator and I can reach in an easier way the working land. Ahora establezco la longitud de trabajo con el localizador de foramen. I removed the interferences, a lot of interferences, and this is important also for the electronic working land. Haber removido las interferencias es muy importante para obtener la longitud de trabajo electrónica. I can try to check the MB2 if I'm able to reach some working length, but I don't focus my attention now on MB2. I'm focusing my attention on MB2. Puedo intentar obtener la longitud de trabajo en el MB2, pero enfoco mi atención en el MB1. Now I can do my Glide, I can establish my glide path. Ahora establezco mi glide path a longitud de trabajo. B1 is white. Ok. I can now introduce my P2 file. Always because I need a glide path for all the working land. Ahora continúo con la P2. Obteniendo un glide path para toda la longitud de trabajo. Ok. Don't, when you are doing a glide path, the sequence is, don't move fast, but be gentle, because we know there is a square cross section. El secreto so, es no moverse rápido, sino ser eh, safe, suave. A safe file, and you can go deep and shape and establish a good working length. Recuerden que tiene una sección transversal eh, rectangular eh, que no corta tanto. Entonces debemos ir suavemente y buscar conformar. We have to remember that we have to clean. Let me place some water here to make it clear. Ok. Remember to clean. Recuerden And que now... debemos limpiar siempre. Irrigar yeah. quiere decir. And now we can go with G1. G1, as you remember well, is a file designed for shaping um, in a proper way uh, the, the root canal system without uh, uh, enlarging too much. Ahora, tomamos G1, recuerden que es una lima con la que se puede conformar apropiadamente un conducto sin ampliar demasiado. Let me see if I find the G1. Okay. Doctor, there are some questions. Yeah. Can I make them? Eh, pregunta, uh, can it, the, the taper uh, in the system are uh, constant? Uh, for example, the 25, yeah. Uh, zero. Yeah. yeah. Um, from what I understood, they are constant in this file. The regressive taper are in other uh, sequences. Sí, eh, la, el doctor Tulio preguntó si la conicidad es constante en estas limas, sí lo es. This is a 2506. 2506. Ah, that's true. Sí, es 2506, no 08. 06. Or if you need uh, something less, you can go also with uh, another one, maybe. Uh, you can use also the... Okay. Pero si requieren menos tonicidad, pueden ir con... This is beautiful. This is a, a 3504. Con esta lima que es una 3504. Que está dentro del mismo sistema. No tiene que ser después de la 2004 de la G1, no tiene que ser necesariamente en secuencia. Puede irse directamente a la 3504 si se requiere menos tonicidad y solo ampliación apical. Exacto. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A file that I really love is 35. Yes. Uh, four. Este This es una lima que le gusta mucho, Invit. Has not, as you can see from the card, has not a set a centered cross section. So it's able to shape uh, more uh, with less 
uh, taper. Tiene una sección transversal eh, descentrada que le permite conformar más teniendo menos taper. Ya, yeah, es eh, fantástico. Here we have. There, This is now I have, okay. This there is, is another let question. Me you, let me show you the MG, the G1. This is the G1. Esa es la lima G1. Okay, G1 is a 20.04. Que es una 20.04. And it's fantastic for my MB2. Fantástica para el MB2. Uh, doctor, there is a question about uh, RC Blue. Yeah. Uh, does it has uh, the same the same heat treatment alleviation and uh, fatigue resistance than recipe of glue? Yeah, is exactly. Uh, this is uh, RC RC blue the 25. Okay, this is heat treated, and the heat treatment in this case, you can you can appreciate the S shape, uh, the S uh, uh, cross section. This is the heat treatment, so you can ban, and they can keep the curvature. So it's the same heat treatment and it's a soft, but with a huge cutting efficacy. Uh, está indicando que RC Blue tiene el mismo tratamiento térmico o similar y, y anatomía del instrumento que RC Pro Blue. Are there any uh, uh, trials about it? Uh, investigations no no what? i don't know i don't know but uh, about the investigation uh, researches and so on research no. yeah. i tested both and uh, they seem they seem really uh, similar no conoce que hayan in, eh, investigaciones estudios al respecto de comparaciones entre rc glue y reciproc glue pero él las ha testeado y encuentra que son muy similares muy similar and uh, um, the only thing is maybe that they have uh, uh, RC blue they have more uh, uh, diameters in terms of uh, smaller diameters this is a 2508 so is nice as you can see is nice for uh, canons like uh, a central line scissor is beautiful for a central line scissor uh, like this is beautiful uh, for anatomies that maybe are premolars, uh, are uh, um, uh, single rooted to, uh, teeth. And of course, we cannot pretend to use this file for MB2 or for narrow canals. We cannot use it since the beginning. Uh, for doing... this kind of file, I suggest, of course, to use uh, MG, MG, MG2. MG2 and MG3. El doctor indica que eh, al ser una lima 2508 la sugiere para conductos más amplios como por ejemplo sector anterior, premolar en general eh, y para el, conductos más estrechos prefiere limas más conservadoras como los de los sistemas MG2 o MG3. Yes, M M MG3 here you can see the difference if I put close to them. I love, I really love the 2004 is one of my preferred, but I also love the 2504 from NG2 and uh, uh, 2506 is great for palatal canal, distal canal, and of course can be considered similar to uh, yeah. RC Blue in terms of shaping efficacy, shaping a final result. Uh, mm -hmm. so, Um, en el caso de la 2506, la G2 del sistema MG3 daría las mismas recomendaciones que para la RC Blue 2508. Mismos conductos y en el caso de molares para las palatinas, por ejemplo. ¿no? 
con una eficiencia de corte muy similar. There is an interesting question, doctor. Uh, here in Peru, we don't have it, but MG3 uh, blue does exist. Uh, Dr. Maya and Tia question, uh, which one would you choose for sclerotic canals? And the gold or the gold or the blue? Canal, for sclerotic canal, I need uh, cutting efficacy, uh, of course. Uh, so my choice is uh, not in blue, but is in, uh, uh, yeah, in gold, of course. Uh, MG3, this sequence of MG3 in terms of uh, cutting efficacy, uh, cutting ability, ability also in the sclerotic canals, I need uh, something efficient. If I use uh, something that maybe is not so efficient like the blue uh, with this configuration, I mean cross section, uh, the risk is probably to uh, block the canal. So okay. uh, what I told you before is exactly what is in my mind. Uh, that is, let me share me, let me share my camera. Okay. Yeah. okay. Let, let me translate for Peru, please. Yeah. Uh, ¿Qué sucede? Han preguntado qué elegiría él, aleación azul o aleación dorada para conductos escleróticos. Eh, con un diseño similar a MG3, o sea, digamos, existe MG3 Gold y MG3 Blue, ¿cuál elegiría él? Él indica que debido a que lo que necesita es una eficiencia de corte más alta, sería la aleación Gold, porque la aleación Blue sería muy flexible, ¿no? Y se puede generar un bloqueo o una fatiga de la línea. Yeah, usually, but here is also up to, as I told you at the beginning, is also up to the doctor, because we have many heat treatments, we have many cross sections, same files with the different with the different uh, heat treatments. So someone of you will prefer the blue. Someone of you will prefer the gold. In my hands, um, the sensation is if I have a sclerotic canal, I would like to uh, to shape in an efficient way, remove immediately the uh, debris, and uh, I need the cutting efficacy because I have to cut there if not the risk is only to cut less push more because you push more and you can block the canal or you can break the file yeah si sí, cuando tiene conductos escleróticos él prefiere o lo, la indicación sería aleación dorada porque si no la lima en aleación blue sería muy flexible hablamos con el mismo diseño de mg3 o eh, y el riesgo sería que uno tendría que empujar más porque de manera natural lo vas a hacer y vas a cometer algún error, algún accidente, ¿no? algún bloqueo o fractura. In my, my hands, the gold uh, alloy uh, works well. But I know uh, many doctors instead, they prefer blue because the feeling is I'm preserving more the anatomy. Of course, uh, but also with blue, if you push a lot, the risk is to Uh, make straight also a root curvature. So be careful, be careful. Entonces dice, alguien podría preferir la aleación azul este, para preservar la anatomía porque es más flexible, pero debe ser muy cuidadoso porque al, al intentar empujar más, igualmente podrías deformar la anatomía. Eh, doctor, eh, doctor Tulio Lano es... Ah, I haven't understand well the question before. He was referring to RC blue. If if that file has constant taper, uh, I think what he means is because uh, reciproc blue doesn't have constant taper. I think this is a twenty five zero eight. They wrote five zero eight on the card. Okay. So is probably the taper is constant. The probably the of the taper is constant. Yes, it seems constant. Also from uh, from uh, the view that I showed you before, it seems it's uh, uh, in my opinion is absolutely constant. Okay. And sí, doctor uh, Tulio, el, el fabricante lo indica así en la cartilla y por lo que él puede apreciar aparentemente la lima tiene taper constant 2508. I love these uh, cards 
because uh, uh, I really, I really love the idea of knowing at every time the cross section, uh, and uh, because in my opinion we have to know, we know have to know every time because we have many files, and I'm sure that not all of you know exactly the cross section of the, of the files that they are using. Para darles muy valiosa esa información en las cartillas porque te permite entender cómo funcionan las líneas. So don't open a kit. You purchase a kit. You open the kit. You don't read the uh, indications. Uh, of course, the indication coming from the end user maybe can be different. As here is written for narrow canal for everyone. Maybe here the expert can guide you better. But for the cross section, is important to know exactly what files we are using in the canal and uh, with which cross section and if we have a, if we expect a cutting efficacy a good cutting efficacy or instead if we are expecting and not cutting efficacy entonces eh, nosotros cuando tomamos un sistema podemos utilizarlo de manera secuencial pero un experto o el conocimiento guiado por la cartilla les puede ayudar a seleccionar una lima con alta eficiencia de corte o con menor eficiencia de corte dependiendo de lo que deseen realizar. So, don't expect from P1, that is the file for uh, glide path, a, cutting, a huge cutting efficacy. Maybe you are expecting it and you push a lot and it doesn't cut. And so the risk is only, okay, I was thinking it was cutting, no, and you break it. Entonces, no esperen, por ejemplo, de una lima como la P1, que es sección rectangular, que tenga una alta eficiencia de corte y estén empujando. No, es una lima que eh, deben trabajar suavemente. And uh, uh, I found uh, I found that the gold alloy, as I told you before, in natural teeth, is uh, really my preferred one. My preferred one, of course. Uh, because la relación preferida cutting. es la dorada debido a que tiene eh, mejor eficiencia de corte. So basically, if you are a beginner, if you are a beginner, uh, you have to control the, uh, you have to know exactly the file that you have in your hand, and you have to control uh, the torque. So if you use an alloy with uh, a soft alloy, you can reduce the torque, and maybe you can uh, make the speed be higher in rotary motion. In this way, you will control better the, the alloy. Entonces, cuando estás empezando, necesitas poder tener el control. Así que si estás utilizando una aleación más blanda, una aleación azul, podrías reducir el torque y aumentar las rotaciones para tener más control. Exactly. Even if on cars is written 300, 350, uh, my personal experience uh, pushed me in uh, uh, make the speed bit higher. Uh, it means a bit higher means from 300 to 350, 400, and a really soft uh, action. Don't push a lot. In this way, a soft alloy can work better and can cut in a, in a predictable way and in a safe way. Entonces, en su experiencia, cuando tienes una aleación blanda, vale la pena aumentar las rotaciones, por ejemplo, inclusive si dice 300 o 350, ir a 400 para tener una mejor sensación de corte. And uh, with the gold alloy, instead, you can stay 300, 350. Mientras que con las doradas puedes mantenerte en 300, 350. That is valid, that is valid also for... RC Blue, or, but RC Blue has a, a, no, a good... RC Blue, RC Blue is a reciprocation. So okay. we have to be careful with the reciprocation because it's another story. Uh, if we go too high with the speed, the risk is not, we are not able to control the instrument because mm -hmm. uh, they, the, the cross section, when it cut, it cut a lot. Lo so, dicho previamente. And 30. Lo, lo dicho previamente es válido para las rotatorias de aleación azul. Cuando es reciprocante es otra historia. Okay, guys. I hope that uh, I shared with you exactly my experience. What was my experience with uh, perfect end of eyes? And, uh, oh, 
what, what one last interesting question yeah, yeah, don't worry don't worry go move, move. in the worry. case of in the case that p1 or p2 doesn't go down uh, through the canal can we use manual files to make the negotiation or uh, what is your suggestion first of all we have to ask yourself why p1 and p2 are not able to go down uh, maybe there is a blockage maybe where is a ledge maybe there are some uh, uh, iatrogenic errors if we are talking about also retreatment after that you answer it to your questions translate if you want okay to. Eh, primero eh, están preguntando qué sucede si p1 o p2 no bajan por el conducto si sí, se podrían utilizar limas manuales para negociar. El doctor indica que lo primero que tenemos que hacer es identificar por qué no están bajando. De repente hay un bloqueo, de repente hay un escalón, de repente hay un error y el procedimiento que lo está impidiendo si es que se trata de un retratamiento. Uh, file, uh, you can take again a key file. You can try to understand if you have constrictions that are coming, are coronal constriction, as usually they are, it is, and you can introduce a key file, a pre-bent key file in a gentle way, and you can try to go deeper. Deeper means one, two millimeters more. And you have to, to feel if you are working in a soft tissue like pulp, or if instead you are working on denting, because maybe you created a ledge and you are making your ledge longer. So, key Entonces, file- Entonces, después de, de haber eliminado las interferencias, hay que tomar la lima de sondaje, eh, y e ingresar un par pre, pre, pre curvada e ingresar uno o dos milímetros adicionales para analizar si es que estamos trabajando en tejido blando, en conducto o en dentina, porque ya abrió un escalón. Exacto. En any case, a rotary file can, can't go deeper than a key file into the beginning. Always you need key file first and after you put your rotary file at the same length of the, uh, the key file. After again, key file, and you, you will be, you will have to understand, okay, it's able to go down or not. If not, and we are talking about a normal tooth, you can establish this temporary working length as your working length, and you can enlarge more. So instead of pushing a key file, it's better to go with G1 at this working length. In this way, you, your canal will be large, and after you can introduce a small key file that will go down without any interferences and you can approach the apical part. Entonces, en esos casos, es mejor eh, avanzar con una lima de sondaje manual y luego inmediatamente hasta esa misma longitud utilizar las limas de Glypad. Pero ya cuando hayamos conseguido la longitud de trabajo, eh, no continuar con limas manuales, sino realizar la ampliación con las limas rotatorias y para eso es adecuada la G1, la 2004. So, manual files are important, of course. We cannot uh, go only with the rotary, we know, uh, for many reasons, but uh, try to limit their use at 10, 08. Only 15, maybe, and 20 in retreatments. But also rotary files in retreatments are good because they are able to remove faster with the perca. Entonces es mejor intentar limitar lo más posible el uso de las limas manuales. Normalmente estar en la 10, tal vez en casos de retratamientos también la 15 y la 20. Pero eh, las limas rotatorias son apropiadas para eso y de hecho más rápidas y seguras. Okay. And yeah, yeah, tell me if you have other questions. Try to check. I can see also the questions are in Spanish. <laughs> uh, do, do you have any su suggestion or preference for using uh, PX wave instead of or P1 or P2, or do you think they are interchange interchangeable? No, uh, P1 and P2, uh, they are not interchangeable because they are 115.02 and the other 20.02. No, no, P1 and, and P2 versus PX wave. Ah, okay. Uh, no, they are not interchangeable. If I have a sclerotic canal, I prefer to use uh, uh, P1 and P2. Okay. 
No, eh. si, el, si el conducto es esclerótico, prefiero utilizar P1 y P2. Because in any case, 0, 2 is uh, more than enough for enlarging into the beginning the coronal path. In the conventional canals, instead, where I have not a real sclerotic, but conventional means uh, difficult and normal, I love to use single file because I can feel the wave that I can, pre uh, can uh, proceed in one wave uh, and I can go uh, deeper, faster, so less five. Bueno, los conductos que sean eh, normales o, o, o difíciles, pero que no estén escleróticos, prefiere PX Wave porque de esa forma puede hacerlo más rápido. Solo si son escleróticos, prefiere P1 y P2. Exacto. So, but never push, never push. If they are heat treated, remember, the files must not be pushed but you have to move gently inside the glucana system. Recuerden no empujar, recuerden trabajar suavemente. Okay. Sorry, but, uh, it was also our first experience with the uh, translations between me <laughs> and you. It's, <laughs> it's, hard, it's harder than we thought. I know, I know. Sometimes I, I can hear myself through your yeah yeah i understood completely and yeah. uh, also for the followers i know it was uh, something uh, new but it was only the beginning just the beginning so <laughs> picking see. or brushing picking ah picking I, I think, or brushing. i think that that's it for p1 and p2 yeah yeah picking uh, i love picking in terms of uh, for p1 and p2 uh so because i know that with brushing motion they are not able to really remove coronal interferences because they have a square section brushing only if i use g1 maybe if i have to really remove uh, remove the coronal interferences i use brushing but pushing on the external wall but only for the first millimeters i don't love to shape a lot in brushing up and down, up and down many times with the file, because if not, your anatomy will become from a beautiful anatomy to a straight line. Okay. La pregunta se refiere a picoteo o cepillado para las limas P1 y P2. Siendo limas rectangulares y que no van a ampliar demasiado, el movimiento sería picoteo, suave. El cepillado es eh, adecuado para las limas de sección triangular con las cuales se va a hacer conformación, pero no exagerar al respecto para no deformar la anatomía. Exactly. Trust, trust in this file. You have to try, of course. Send me your feedbacks. Some of you will prefer blue alloy. Some one of you will prefer uh, gold alloy, of course. Uh, it's up to you. Depends on your hands. Uh, the only thing that you have to know is uh, that uh, you have to know exactly the cross section, the, the ability of the files. And as I showed you before, don't sleep inside the canal many times in uh, shaping, shaping, brushing. Uh, and don't, it's not enough. It's uh, better one kiss, one go. You go, you kiss the, the apex and you go out. Entonces, la preferencia sobre el tipo de aleación y sección transversal va a depender de cada uno, de, de, de la preferencia, de la mano de cada uno. Solo recuerden eh, no quedarse, en, en ninguno de los casos, no quedarse dormidos dentro del conducto, hacer lo que deben realizar, llegan a la sección transversal, a la sección apical y eh, eh, casi literalmente ha dicho, la besan y se retiran. Exacto. To kiss and go out. Kiss and go. Kiss and go. Always. <laughs> Don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Peru, how's it going? Are them still alive? Are them sleeping? Are them working? We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, would like to, <laughs> I would like to visit your country, guys. It's inside my dreams. It's inside my dreams. Oh, we hope that we can have you here soon also, doctor. Uh, hopefully, uh, for, for the beginning of the, of the next year, sure. summer will be a good 
will be a, a good time. It's a good season for me. So we can try to organize there in Lima. Winter, and, winter there, summer here. Exactly. You understood that part. <laughs> <laughs> that would be beautiful. So we can organize there for the participants. Probably our intent is to try to organize also some events, some congress, some uh, information more locally. And it will be a great uh, pleasure also to have a perfect end of, on board. Uh, I know that for them uh, is a uh, full night, but uh, almost the uh, beginning of the morning. Uh, but uh, I hope that they follow uh, this uh, uh, webinar until the end. And I'm sure that uh, they will support us as much as they can for trying to organize this kind of event. Eh, sí, está hablando de que está seguro de que Perfect Endo eh, por, tiene esta, esta disposición de seguir apoyando y, y organizando estos eventos. Así que vamos a, a poder contar con ellos en el futuro. Muy bien, I, I don't know if someone of the team want, wants to. I don't know if someone of the team wants make an intervention. Bye to all the followers. Maybe they are not ready or they are <laughs> tired. Oscar. Uh, Je Jen Jenny Shan este, yeah. is, is, está agradeciendo, is, is thanking you. Ah, okay. Well, ah, okay. <laughs> they speak Spanish. <laughs> the, la, the magic of, of Google Translate. No, but thank you. No, I, don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Very well. Uh, it's, it's my I, pleasure, guys. It's, uh, thank you for your uh, all thanks that I'm receiving here. It's always my pleasure, and I'm really honored. So, uh, thank you for from Dubai. Yeah, I saw. Yes, Jenny, uh, Jenny, you, can Jenny. Talk. you can talk. You can say goodbye to all the followers. You can uh, do the final conclusion conclusion of this webinar. Oh. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay. Um, Hola, aquí tenemos a Christy de OML. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Ricardo Tonini. Thank you, you to all the participants and thank you very much, Dr. Carlos Ruiz, for helping us with the translation. Uh, gracias, Dr. Tonini. Eh, gracias a todos los participantes, a todas sus preguntas y muchas gracias, Dr. Carlos, nuevamente por ayudarnos con la traducción. Muchas gracias a todos. Gracias. Buenas tardes. Ok, muchas gracias. Very well. I think this is the end, dear yeah. Dr. Ricardo. I would like to say something. Oh, Miguel Bravo. Hello, doctor. Hello. I would like to say thank you, everybody. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you, Dr. Ricardo Tonini. It's an honor for us to have you here. Uh, thank you, Dr. Carlos Ruiz, for your helping. Um, I'm very happy. It's our first experience doing something like this. Um, so it's not, it, it will be not uh, the first. So we will have much opportunities to, to get improved, to, to, to share more knowledge. So thank you very much from my heart. I am very happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to you. And uh, uh, I think that is all. Thanks so much also again to all of you. Uh, Carlos, thank you so much. Uh, it was a huge job. And uh, let's do, let's plan soon another uh, webinar like it. Maybe uh, we will decide on the topic. <laughs> Espero que sí. Espero que lo podamos Espero hacer que, pronto. Espero que sí. Espero que I, sí. I, I, I have seen you have a lot of topics. <laughs> don't worry. Consider, don't worry. Considerando que la, la, la mayor parte de los asistentes son de aquí, Eh, yo quiero decir en español lo que, lo que traté de decir. Muchas gracias a todos por estar aquí. Muchas gracias al doctor Ricardo Tonini por, por haber estado con nosotros. Al doctor Carlos Ruiz por su inapreciable ayuda. Es, es extraordinario trabajo que han hecho los dos. Eh, nosotros um, eh, estamos eh, dispuestos a seguir mejorando. Es la 
primera experiencia que tenemos en, 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 en organizando esto nosotros este, y vamos a seguir, vamos a seguro mejorar para las siguientes, contamos con el doctor. De verdad, me siento muy feliz y muy halagado de haberlos tenido a todos ustedes aquí. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Ha sido un placer Chao. realmente. Chao, from Italy. Chao, doctor. Okay. Chao. Have a good night. Have a good day. Chao. Gracias. Te vemos pronto. Bye. Ok.